Have you ever wondered why almost all CEOs divorced? World's richest people like Elon Musk and Bill Gates despite having more money than a few small nations combined. Why can't they keep their marriage together? This happens because the lives of most successful people are different from those of the masses. Instead of spending the night partying with friends, sometimes you might want to work on an important project all by yourself. Having a high level of intelligence, no matter the form can make it difficult to form connections with others. Intelligent people may find that others are not interested in what they have to say, and that, conversely, it's hard to find interest in what others talk about. The Price of Success A survey from RHR International found that half of the CEOs experience feelings of loneliness in their careers, 61% of whom believe that this feeling hinders their performance. This shouldn't come as a surprise. If someone is concentrating solely on his career, he can get a long way in his career, and I would say that that's a strategy that a minority of men preferentially do. That's all they do. Successful people work 7 to minus 80 hours a week, and they go flat out on their careers. They're staking everything on the small probability of exceptional status in a narrow domain. But it's hard on them because they don't have a life. Sure, they have a lot of money. It's very difficult for them to have a simple thing like a family. It may be that unidimensionality is the price you have to pay to be exceptional at one thing. Because if you're going to be something like a genius level CEO or a scientist, you're in your lab or office all the time. You're working 70 hours a week or 80 hours a week. If you're smart, you're dedicated, and you're unidimensional. That's how you get to beat all the other people who are doing the same thing as you. It's the only way. But the problem is you don't get a great life that way. If you love being a CEO or a scientist and you have that kind of focus of mind, first of all, you're a rare person and second, you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it with your time and relationships. It's a risky business to do that. You sacrifice a lot for it. Most often if you're speaking about having a healthy life, that isn't what you do. For a healthy life, you spread yourself out more. So you have a family, and you have some things that you do outside of work that is meaningful to you. You have a network of friends, and those things alone are plenty to keep you well-oriented. And then if one of those things collapses, you know in your head that everything isn't lost. That gives you peace of mind unlike anything else. Now the price you pay for that is, the more you strive to optimize that balance, the less likely you are to be fantastically successful at any single one of them. One of the things likely you are to be fantastically successful at any single one of them. But you might have a very you know if you can consider your life as a whole might be a winning strategy. The determination. So, if you ever wanted to become a big company CEO, you have to ask yourself, is this really, really that's what you want? Because that means that's what you do. That's what you dedicate your life to. Because you're competing with other people you know they're smart, they're hard-working. If you want to be at the top you have to be smarter and work harder than any of them. And working hard means working long hours, it also means working diligently. But in the final analysis, it's also an additive issue. If I'm smart and hard-working, I can crank out 70 hours a week and you do it for 30 hours. In two years I'm so far ahead of you that you will never ever catch up. It's this philosophy that gets people ahead. You'll less sacrifice everything, your free time, most of your social life, most of your love life and family life, almost all of your leisure and peace and quiet. Just about everything else will fall by the wayside. But it is guaranteed you will be this successful, known by the world and remembered by many. There is no balance when one of the scales requires everything from you. If you really want to dedicate your life to becoming super rich, you definitely can. But remember it will not be a walk in the park. There will be struggles. There has to be a sacrifice. Now the question is are you willing to do it? As said by Charles Bukowski when nobody wakes you up in the morning, and when nobody waits for you at night, and when you can do whatever you want. What do you call, freedom or loneliness? I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this.